Guys, welcome back to our show. We have a great one lined up. And so before we get going, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get all the latest content and updates from Power Mechanical. I just updated our site with the new dates for the upcoming STEAM School sessions. And I want you to be sure and get in touch with me so you can get more information on those. And hit that subscribe button right now so you can get all the latest updates. So today we're gonna look at what is easily ranked as one of the most critical elements in the boiler room. And we're doing it right now. Guys, it is without a doubt that one of the most important elements in the boiler room is controlling the water level and ensuring that there's a cutout during a low water situation. When you're making steam, one thing that you can count on is the need for makeup water. The boiler relies on a steady, sufficient supply of water to ensure a safe and reliable operation. As the water is being heated to evaporation temperature and, the ex and exiting the boiler, the makeup has to be matched to meet these evaporation requirements for safe operation. So now the reason for reliable level control and low water components is fairly self-explanatory. And if you don't know what a low water situation in a boiler could result in, then check out this quick clip. So guys, I show you this not to scare you, but just to raise awareness of the importance of a properly functioning low water cutoff in the boiler. So whether it's residential, commercial, or industrial application, high pressure, low pressure, or hot water, a low water cutoff is absolutely necessary on a boiler. I repeat, there is no boiler application where this control is not necessary. Now many times these controls are twofold, much like the one you see here, a McDonnell Miller 150. Not only do they serve as a low water fuel cutout, they also serve as the level control. These are often referred to as a combination pump control and low water cutoffs. Controls such as these are used quite often on many boiler applications from a small 10 horsepower boiler to a larger 1000 horsepower industrial boiler. You will often find this control installed. It's a fairly simple and reliable design and it uses a float mechanism to sense the water level inside the bowl area. As the water level drops, the float will fall inside and call for more makeup water. If the water level continues to fall, it will break the fuel supply circuit and create a low water alarm. So understanding how these components work and rely on the proper level sensing should give you a good understanding as to why proper water chemistry, blowdowns, and regular maintenance are important for these controls. Should scale accumulate inside the body of the control, then this can affect the float's ability to articulate and likewise it can cause a false level indication or hangups. Looking closer at this control, if you pay close attention to the body, you'll see a horizontal marking. Now provided the control is installed in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations, this line will indicate a level just below the boiler's normal water level. These controls have a very specific installation level to ensure that the boiler's water level is set correctly. Ensure that both the boiler and the control manufacturer's specifications are referred to for proper installation procedures. This control should be checked regularly for proper functioning. The frequency should be determined based on not only the facility's process requirements, but as well the manufacturer's recommendations. Many plants incorporate this into part of each shift's procedure in order to ensure that it's being checked numerous times during the day or the shift. A very important part of these checks includes blowing down the associated piping and the controls and the entire water column. Some of the issues that commonly affect these controls' performance are collapsing or crushing of the float ball inside. This is usually due to improper blowdown procedures. Essentially, a, a vacuum can be created and collapse this float ball. These ball floats can also develop leaks or deteriorated seams, and that can cause the float to take on water. For obvious reasons, both of these situations will lead to improper level indication, which in turn results in improper pump pump response and low water indications. Of course, the control arm getting bent or as previously mentioned, scale accumulation are both other issues that operators should be mindful of as each result in improper level indications. This control for obvious reasons is one of the most important controls and safeties that is found in the boiler room. The manufacturer recommends replacing the head mechanism every five years regardless of its functionality. Many plants will replace these controls even more frequently based on their, their in-house procedures. 
If you don't already have this control incorporated into your daily, weekly, monthly, and annual maintenance plans, then this should be become an absolute top priority. Don't gamble with low water in a boiler. The results can be devastating. Stay safe out there.